Hello friends, welcome back to my channel with another video on Mi Home Security Camera NAS Storage. As we discussed in the previous video, we will uh, share you how you can create the NAS storage for Mi Home Security Cameras. You can record your CCTV uh, Mi Home Security Camera storage in your laptop or in your PC. So wherever you are, you can easily access your storage even you lost your sd card so this video will help you step by step how you can create the nas storage on your pc so before we continue if you are new in my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new update so let's begin our topic so first of all open your pc and type in the search bar user because we have to create the user for using our pc remotely so we find the family and other users so as you can see here the last option family and other users we click that one after that you find the two option add a family member or add someone uh, use this pc so we select the second option add someone to uh, this pc now asking to add the microsoft account but but i don't want to add any microsoft account so i just select the bottom option i don't have uh, this person's sign in uh, information so we, i select the bottom one and then click next now also here add a user without microsoft account we select the that one now we giving the name of our user so you can uh, add here any name and password so uh, i give here the name me home and then add my password so you create any strong password to use this uh, user retype my password now here is asking the security questions so you have to create the three security questions and answer so in the future if you have any trouble the access this user you can answer and then access the user so i just uh, uh, give the security answers after giving you a security answers you click the next to go to second option so we just click the next you have to remember your security questions after clicking next you can see the our me home security user is already created so we just click that one and change the account type click the change account type now you can see the standard user so we click the arrow down and then give the permission as administrator and then click ok so our first step is already done now we are going to second step to create the folder for our storage for creating recording folder we have to click the this pc or my pc or my computer and then open it after that you have to choose the drive which drive you want to keep your uh, me home security recordings so i prefer you to select the any drive without the c drive because if you keep in the c drive if sometime uh, it happens the windows corrupt or anything problem in your windows you will lose your recording so you have to select the uh, second option any other drive and then create there any folder so we click the new and then create a folder and then we give the name so i'm giving here the me home uh, recordings or anything i want to give the name and then we create the folder after creating the folder right click on the folder and then you have to find the give access to give access to and then a specific people we select the specific people and then after that we click the drop down and then select the everyone so we choose everyone and then add after adding the everyone we select the drop down read and write and then select the read and write so we can read and write on our hard drive that part and then give access and then allow so we have to wait few minutes and then click the done after that we click again the right click on the same folder and then click the properties and then click the sharing and then after that we click the properties advanced properties and then 
select the permissions and then now make sure here is allow all the permissions if there is any permission is deny you have to allow all the permissions and then okay because if this permission is not allowed you cannot access the folder so we click the allow and then close this folder and then now our third step is going to windows features turn in, uh, on and off so you have to search windows features turn on and off so we select that one and then open it now here you can see a lot of lists so you have to scroll down and then you search the smb1.0 that code you search and then check this box and then you have to click ok smb1.0 and then you click ok and then submit that one now it take few seconds to apply your all the settings and required files so we have to wait few seconds and then after that we have to restart our pc once it's asking you to restart the pc so all the settings will be done after restarting our pc so we have to wait uh, uh, this file settings and then receive file or required files so we have to wait few seconds now it's asking you to restart now so we have to click the restart now and then restart our pc so it will all the settings will be effect so we restart the pc now fourth option is you open your mi home security camera app in your phone and then as you can see our cameras all is working perfectly you can see this is our shop camera so we click the three dots on the top and then click the all devices now select the any of this camera for example i select this one and then click the three dots on the top now here you can see the manage storage click the manage storage and then you can see here the SD card status is good and then here bottom you can see the NAS network storage so we click the NAS network storage and then connect the NAS device now it will searching the our uh, this PC before we created the account you can see here the desktop and then giving the arrow so we click the this device then add here our username before we created the, our username and password the first first we created the user for the this me home so i just type the same username then type our password after that we click the done now here is the showing the folders you can see here the folder so we select the me home records we click that one and then uh, on the top right icon we click the that one and then it will loading now you can see here the video storage uh, the transfer time is immediately transfer hourly transfer daily and then transfer immediately we select the immediately and then video length settings you can choose also one week one month three months six months uh, 12 months it depend on you so we select the one month and then click ok so after that you can see here the transmission is normal now you can see our nas storage is working perfectly so our camera is now on the nas storage if i can show you the recordings there in the computer so now if you want to check your recordings you can simply playback from me home security app or you can check by 
opening your my pc and then select the folder you created earlier and then check your recordings and then you can see all the videos recorded there and then you can simply easy to find the video you want to watch so i open the folder and then here are the videos recorded by me home security camera we play any video as you can see our recorded is recording is nicely perfectly working and then it's storage on our hard drive so you can choose any video to play so hope this video is going to helpful for you if you like this video don't forget thumbs up please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new updates so let's see you in the next video with the new tips new tricks if you have any query you can simply write in the comment below i will reply 100% positive comments thank you